there. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrill and fun Whoa. with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill. tell you the companies helping us open up our western frontier are doing it just for the money they hope to make. And I guess in some cases it's true. But take it from me, most of them are a lot more interested in something bigger and finer. Making the good old USA the greatest nation in the world. And you can bet your bottom dollar on what I'm saying, cause the job is being done by a handful of mighty courageous men. For example, take the railroad. Redskins ain't the only thing them lads got to fight. No siree. Take it from a fellow who knows. Cause I depend on the railroad to haul the things I need for my business. Me having the only general store for 80 miles. And besides doing the doctoring, barbering, and a few other things, I'm raising a couple of youngsters I adopted. Buffalo Bill Jr. and his sister, Calamity. Cracking's real easy when the ground's damp like this. But suppose you found a pebble like this on a dry trail and the bottom side was wet. What would you make of that? Well, if the bottom side wet, I'd say it came from a horse that just crossed the stream. Could have come from the bottom of a man's boot. Or a woman's. Bill, will you hitch up the buckboard for me? I got to pick up that railroad superintendent McKeever coming in on 1110. He asked me to arrange a meeting so he could talk to everybody. Let me hitch up the team. Bill? Hitchin's a man's job. But come on, judge is late and maybe you can lend a hand. Oh, oh. Hang on to the ring, sis. I'll fetch the judge. I told you to hold the reins. Why tell me? It was the horses that ran away. Well, there's the 1110. Well, as long as we've come this far, we might as well go pick up Mr. McKee for ourselves. Hold, Chief. Get up there. Well, that's the story, friends. The Continental Pacific Company, once they lay rails into Empire Gorge, will bankrupt my road. And Wiley it will become a ghost town. And the closest railroad will be a hundred miles away if we have to close down. My gilded glory, Mr. McKeever, we just can't sit around and see your Rocky Mountain and Southern Railroad, which has been a mighty good friend to all of us, forced out of business. I don't want to sound stupid, but how come the Continental Pacific can be getting ready to lay track through the pass and your railroad can't? Well, it's very simple, Bill. They've got the cash to do it. What profits we've made, we've plowed right back in for new right-of-ways and uh, more rolling stock. What's rolling stock? Horses and cattle that have roller skates? 
Calamity, this is high finance. Now, you youngsters keep out of this. I might be kind of young, but something sticks in my craw, Mr. McKeever. Yes, Bill? Well, rails can't cost too much. It's the labor of laying them that costs much more. That's true, Bill. Now, we could pay for the rails, but it would take five or six weeks for them to get here from Pittsburgh. And by that time, Continental will be all the way through Empire Pass and halfway to Denver, and we'd be out of business. Mr. McKeever, if you could get them rails some way, I'll bet you every man, woman, and child for 20 miles around here would lay them for you for nothing. Maybe I'm throwing a wide loop, but I think I've got an idea to save the railroad and Wileyville. Well, let's hear it, Bill. Well, how long is Empire Pass? How many miles? Well, about 10 miles. But what difference does that make? Maybe all the difference. Look, there's already 12 miles of rail between the main line and Wiley Junction now, which nobody will need if your railroad goes out of business. So why can't we pull up those rails for you, lay them in Empire Pass, temporarily, that is, until you get your new ones? See, now, that idea is just about as good as if I'd thought it up myself. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, if you'd be willing to do it, we can beat the Continental at their own game and have it done within 48 hours. Let's get started. Are you all loco or something? Want them tracks are pulled up, how do you know we'll ever get them back again? This whole thing looks like a frame-up to me. Uh, frame-up? Uh, just a minute, just a minute. Now simmer down. And just who are you running off to mouth like that? I don't recollect ever seeing you around Wileyville before. Yeah, well, maybe you need some new glasses. Mister? I have a mind to hold you for trespassing, creating a disturbance, and inciting a riot, and maybe even for conduct unbecoming even a half a gentleman. Yeah, you don't say, and who's going to hold me? You and who else? My Anna, that does it. Ninety days for contempt. Why, you big mouth old goat. <laughs> If he hadn't found me, I'd probably still be out there. Well, you're the only one the posse found. Well, how do you feel, Bill? I'm still in one piece. They must have zigged and I didn't zag. You see who they were or where they went? No, but I'm convinced of one thing. They're plenty smart. They know what they're doing all the time. They must have knocked me out with a rock so the posse wouldn't hear a gunshot. Yep. Well, if we want to get them rails up and over to that pass, we better not waste our time looking for them, too. You men round up the rest of that posse and get them back here to town. Here. What is it? Never mind what it is. Drink it. Judge, you and Mr. McKeever stay here. I started something that right now I want to see if I can finish it. You feel up to it, son? Sure, I feel fine. All right, but remember, this track moving job was your idea, and we'll probably need your help. Well, needing the Rocky Mountain and Southern in business so Wileyville wouldn't become a ghost town, we all didn't waste a minute taking up young Bill's suggestion for getting tracks to lay an Empire Pass. And I guess the man who worked the hardest was Mr. McKeever himself. Or maybe it was Bill, who wasn't even there.
tell you, Mr. Dunlap, McKeever over in Wileyville went for the kid's plan. If that's the case, my railroad has a battle on its hands. Well, we know what we saw and heard, don't we, Toad? We sure do. There's just one way to handle mavericks like them Wileyville idiots. Once and for all, we're having no bloodshed. Our franchise comes from Washington. All we need is to have them here. We're using strong-arm methods, and we'll be out overnight. Yeah, that wouldn't be so good, Mr. Dunlap. But don't worry. We'll find some way to run them up that's legal, or looks like it. You better find some way, or I'll see to it you don't get a red cent for that so-called help of yours. I got it, boss. Yes? If we can put a coup in that gorge before anyone else gets there, even the law says we get a right to protect ourselves, we can run those Wileyville people off when they show up. It's all very true. We can't get our rails for at least another week. Once we dump all this stuff in that gorge and make it look like we're working, who's to say we're not? I know I can round up enough men and rifles to hold it against all comers. We're playing for high stakes. Let me think about it. Now, just what are you doing here? Uh, I was just practicing what you were teaching me, how to trail someone. You mean a kid like you trailed me all the way up here? Hmm? Well, I don't know whether you're a good student or it's because you've got a good teacher. Anyway, I'm sure glad you're here because I'm gonna need some help. Gosh, Bill, I'll do anything you tell me. After all, getting the rails for Empire Pass was your idea. You're smart. That is for a boy. Now look, we're up against a real tough bunch of gunslings. What we've gotta do is outsmart them so there'll be no shooting. I'm with you, Bill. What do you want me to do? Nothing. Right now, we gotta wait till it's dark. Set it down over there. So far, so good, Kilgore. We got enough rifles to scare off an army. Better day ahead of us tomorrow. How about some sleep? Yeah, told you keep an eye on this stuff. If anything happens, Dunlap and me will be over in the old bunkhouse. Well, wait a minute. What about me? I'm sleepy and I'm tired. Besides, what's going to happen to this stuff all through the night? You better start thinking about what's going to happen to you if anything does happen to them. just left. Now, come on, sis, and whatever you do, be quiet. I'm still in there. Gosh, what do we do, Bill? Oh, I had a good idea. What's your idea? It won't work. Where can I get a slingshot? We can make one. I have some elastic. Where'd you get some elastic? Never you mind where. Turn around and close your eyes. Go on if you want the elastic. Close your eyes. You got that where I think you got it. Ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies. But don't do any fast running, because I might embarrass you.
That's got him. He's off in the other direction now. Here, keep on the lookout. What was what? Horses. We heard horses. Horses? He must have been dreaming of something. You think I wouldn't have heard of me watching this stuff? Well, come on, Kilgore. Get yourself some rest. I'm taking care of things up here, all right. Oh, good morning, Mr. McKeever. Well, we're all set to roll, Judge. I guess we got up on every wagon, buckboard, and squad drag in Wiley County, loaded with rail, ties, and work gear. Well, I'm all set. Say, have you seen young Bill around? Well, I can't say that I have, but then we've all been pretty busy. Well, let's get started, Judge. It's almost sun up, and we gotta get the Empire Pass by noon. Well, let's go, then. Now get down into the pass and act like you're laying track. When that bunch from Wiley will get there, I'll order them to get out. That's when you grab those rifles and look tough. While you men are with Mr. Dunlap, told me I have a little job to do up here. Then we'll stay on top watching just in case you need a little fast help. Daily Crockett used this trick to make the Indians think they were outnumbered. Sure could fool me. Hey, what's the idea? What's the idea? A regular April Fool's Day. You spot a couple up there and then go back to the wagon and get some hats to fit. smart, all right. They know what they're doing. There's the judge, Mr. McKeever, now. We'd better get to him, Calamity. No, getting a bit of rest for Nellie. She ain't as young as she used to be. Well, none of us. 
Hey, you were asking about Bill. There he is, coming now. Where in tarnation you kids been? We've been scouting, Judge. Mr. McKeever, the other railroad has men and rifles up in Empire Pass. Well, then that's that. We're not going to start any pitch battle. Look, you've trusted me this far. Are you willing to continue to back my play? What do you got in mind, son? Well, it'd take an hour to explain, Judge, and we just don't have time. Trust me a while longer. All right, Bill. It's your idea and it's your party. Take over. <laughs> That's the word. Here they come. Late as usual, eh, McKeever? You're not laying track here. You're just acting like you are. Think you'd like to try and ride through so you could prove that? You not only think so, that's just what we're gonna do. We've got men up there, too. Sure. I mean it. You move one foot and they have orders to fire. Well, you better tell them to start. Right now. Now, look here. We're not fooling. Possession is nine points of the law. All right, men. Take aim. I'm not warning you again. No one's asking you to. Go ahead and tell your hard plug uglies to do their worst. You're forcing us to shoot you down. That's what you're doing. At the rate you're going, Mr. Dunlap, no one's going to get shot this week. All right, then. Let him have it, boys. Fire! sends you to five years at hard labor. You'd never have caught us if this button hadn't swiped all those firing pins out of the rifles. Bill, you swiped the firing pins out of the Continental Pacific's nice new rifles? Why, that's grand larceny. I hereby sentence you and that nosy little sister of yours to uh, take this $2 bill and go get yourselves all the pie and cake you want. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Now, wait a minute. You better take this four bits, too. Two dollars worth of pie and cake. You'll surely be needing uh, half a dollar's worth of castor oil. <laughs> Buffalo Bill Jr. Now, with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. No one's quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Jr., Buffalo Bill Jr. He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill. 